Hello, this is Michael Aspel with something important to say to all you girls who want one of the really good jobs. Why not come and join the Bee Gees? Well, I'm talking about the Barclay girls. They're the ones who really know what they want out of life. And Barclays give it to them. And if you, like me, thought that banking was stuffy, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I've got ten Miss World contestants. Uh, I've been uh, Barclay girls with me. And they come from Barclays branches throughout England and Wales. Now, girls, which of you went into banking straight from school? I did. Oh, I did. Norma Wise, did you decide to go straight into Barclays or did you try for other banks first? I tried for Barclays alone. And how long have you been with them now? Five years. What are you doing with them? I'm a cashier at Bond Street. What sort of customers you get in Bond Street? They must be at the posh end of Very the Very rich people. How do you like that, dear? Yes, I do. Yeah. You must deal with enormous sums of money then. Mm, quite a bit, yes. Because this is like the medical profession. You're not allowed to divulge no, any secrets no, of your customers. Quite. Yeah. Well, who had interviews with other banks then? I did. I did. Well, let's try Sandra Taylor. Where are you from, Sandra? Wolverhampton. And how many other banks did you have interviews with? I had interviews with five other banks, and I got jobs with two. And what made you decide to accept them? <laughs> what do you the salary interview? was above the other two jobs that I got. Mm. And they said, you know, you, you, get, you get plenty of friends there, so that was it. And that's I the way it's worked out, is it? yeah. Mm. What's your job yeah. in Barclays? At the moment, at Hampstead Heath, I'm OC Mech. Eh? OC Mech. I'm in charge of the, the machine room. That I'm sounds as if you actually girls. make the money. <laughs> <laughs> I have to balance the day, which isn't very easy, really. <laughs> well, who else went to Barclays straight from school? Linda, you did. And um, what was it like on the first day? Oh, it wasn't so terrifying as I thought it would be. I'm a shorthand typist. And I came along and worked in economic intelligence department. God, that sounds like the James <laughs> Bond of Barclays. <laughs> it sounds very dramatic. What's it like? It's very interesting, actually. Students that are at university come along or they send in and ask for the reports that we supply them with, dealing with the economics of the countries, um, population and present situation. It's not dull or boring or anything like that. Well, that's nice to know. Who, who else is, is... Who's a cashier? You're Judy, Judy Phillips, and you're from North Wales. You're a cashier, and do you like it? Yes, very much so. Why? Well, I like meeting people. I prefer the work as a cashier rather than mech room work. Do you get many difficult customers? Mm, the odd one here and there, but you can usually deal with them. Mm, mm. What was that? Charm. <laughs> that's the thing you need, is it? Of course, yes. Yeah. Yes, well, there's a lot of it around here, I must admit. Uh, did anyone leave the bank and then go back? <laughs> Barbara, Barbara Mansfield, you decided. Why did you decide that? Um, well, I had decided I'd like a change. Mm. And I went into a small office in a very large company and I just didn't like the atmosphere at all. It was unfriendly, um, unlike in the bank where we all knew everybody, you know. Mm. So I came back again. And they received you with open arms, did they? Yes, I even went back to the same branch. Really? What's the atmosphere like in, in the bank you work? Very friendly. Are you, is it um, mostly young people like yourselves? Yes. And what's the proportion of, of fellows to girls? Half and half. More men than girls. Who said that? You're smiling very much when you said that. That's Linda Elms again. Yes. You look very happy about the situation. Why is yes. that? Yes, well, my fiancé works in the same department, you see. I see. So, <laughs> yes. so romance rears its ugly head again. Yes. Did but you meet... Oh, you met, obviously, through the yes, bank. Yes, yes. Yeah. I've been in there longer than he has, sir. So. Oh, does he mind that? Oh, no, I shouldn't. You don't pull so. rank on him, do you? Oh, no, I couldn't. No. <laughs> He's higher than I am, anyway. <laughs> well, I should hope so. <laughs> hey, what, talking about being higher, what are the chances of one of you becoming a, a bank manager? If you to want to get on in the bank, try your exams, and then you're up to a manageress. You have as much chance as the men in this room. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Well, what about the marriage gratuity? That's fairly important to at least two of you, I think. I know it means something to you, Judy Phillips. What will you be getting, and when? Well, I'm getting married in another 18 months, so I wouldn't get it £200 maximum after five years in the bank. So you'll have to wait until you've been with them for five years? Yes, yes. And then you get... £200 maximum. Yes. Oh, You're being prompted very well there by, <laughs> by Liz Davis, who says that she, she's only got a, a boyfriend, but she knows all about the marriage gratuity, as I say. Yes. Well, who works with, who works with computers? 
Geraldine Ramsey in a very soft voice than I do. Um, what's it like? Well, it can be quite interesting. There's a machine that we use. We punch the tape with that. And we feed it through the computer, which is read in the computer centre. Mm. And it's, it's very interesting reading the tape. There's well, what sort of training do you require for that? You can go on a course for a fortnight in the trading centre. Mm -hmm. um, what about the social side? Who belongs to, the, say, the dramatic society or the tennis or other things? Tennis. Norma, you belong to what? I belong to the tennis club. Mm. Where do you play? Well, at home, I played in South Wales. For the bank? For the bank, yes. And here in London? I don't play up here, no. Why not? Tennis season's out. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the kind of reply I was looking for. Uh, right. Sandra, what do you belong to? I, back at home at Wolverhampton, I belong to the Badlington section. Mm. We just play friendly matches. Um, well, I should hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear somebody mention um, a rowing club, and I'm looking around for one with the biggest muscles. Who belonged to the rowing club? <laughs> Geraldine, did you? I didn't belong to it, no, but I often went along to watch them. Mm -hmm. Now, Dinah, you, like everyone else, went through uh, interviews. How did you find the interview? I found it very friendly, much more friendly than the other banks. And I found that one for Barclays, she spoke very much sincere about the work in the bank and the social life, and I found it very much more interesting and more informal and you know, more pleasing, really. Now, what about um, the holidays? Now, Judith Elliott, you are the longest-standing, well, you're sitting at the moment, member of Barclays in this group. What sort of holidays do you get? I get three weeks, but I think it goes up according to your salary. Yeah. What about if you want to take it in off-season period? Does that make a difference? What if you take them in the winter? Yeah. You get three days extra holiday. So if you're a skiing fanatic, that's for you? Oh, it's marvellous, yes. Fine. Well, tell me, who answered an advert to join Barclays? I did. Linda, you yes, did. Yes, I had answered an advertisement through the evening news. And um, it was quite a simple application form to fill in, as long as you've got a general high standard of education, I think you're more or less in. So it isn't necessary to be a mathematical genius to join Barclays? No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, thanks. Well, you've heard what the Barclay girls have had to say. I don't know about them, but I think I've enjoyed myself. It seems like a very good life to me, and if you're interested, well, there's the application form with this record, and all you have to do is to post it. And now I think it's time for the weather forecast. And uh, <laughs> If any of you can cash me a cheque before I go, I think I've left my wallet behind.